guys, it's Liv. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I know for me, when I've moved into my dorm at Temple University, I decided for whatever reason that it was a good idea to bring basically my entire wardrobe. And when I mean my entire, I mean basically every single clothing item that I ever owned. I am going to share with you the clothes that you should bring with you to college so you can avoid the mistake that I made of bringing all of my clothes. So let's just hop into it. I kind of broke down the clothing items by section. That way it's just kind of easier. So the first thing that I want to get into is like the typical casual clothes that you kind of wear on like an everyday basis. So the first thing I would suggest bringing are just like basic top. Things that you can kind of pair with just about anything. So maybe just like a white tank top or a white crop top. This is one of my favorite shirts. It's kind of just like a little flannel from Forever 21. Just basic tops that you can pair with leggings or jeans. The next thing that I would suggest bringing are jeans and don't necessarily have to bring all of the jeans that you own. I know for me, I used to work at Madewell, which is like a big jean store so I have quite the collection because I would get a discount. Tell yourself if you could only bring two or three pairs of jeans, which pairs would you bring and just bring those. So I would suggest maybe bringing a blue pair, a lighter blue pair, and a black pair of jeans. My next suggestion as far as casual, like typical clothes goes, is a denim jacket. So I have a denim jacket from Free People that I got at TJ Maxx and it is my favorite thing ever and I wear it all the time. I wear it with leggings or I wear it with jeans or like black jeans and it's just something that I found to be like a really good basic to have in my wardrobe. Next thing I would bring with you as far as casual clothes goes is just a pair of jean shorts you know towards the beginning of the school year it can be super hot out at least in Philly so I would just suggest bringing a pair of shorts. The next section I want to get into is outerwear so first thing I would suggest bringing is a raincoat pretty self-explanatory but there's gonna be days where you have to walk to class on some rainy days and you're gonna want to wear a raincoat and then going along with that bring an umbrella this is something that I feel like a lot of people forget about but it's good to bring and it's good to have. The next thing that I would bring is a winter coat I guess this depends on where you go to school maybe Maybe if you go to school in sunny California or like Miami, you're not going to need this as much, but I go to school in the Northeast in Philly. It definitely gets really cold in the winter time, so I need a winter coat, so I would suggest getting that. Next section is like your everyday casual clothes, things that you would wear to class. You no, know, for Temple, at least within Fox, the business school, a lot of people dress super casually going to class, they'll wear like, you know, just like running shorts, legging, basic comfy clothes. The observation I've made, like a lot of times, like kids will wear super super casual things to class, but wear whatever your heart makes you happy. You don't have to blend in, but if you want to see what like generally speaking people wear, it's more like the casual stuff. So as far as casual clothes go, I would suggest bringing like a couple pairs of sweatpants. A lot of times people wear just like leggings, sweatpants, shorts to class, so definitely want to have some of that, and especially if you're taking online classes. And a lot of us are because this school year is going to be really weird compared to normal. I will be bringing a lot of sweatpants with me to school this year because I'm going to be taking my classes from the comfort of my own home. The next thing that I would bring with you is leggings. Honestly, one of my staple pieces of clothing that I wear. And I also took a yoga class last semester, which was super fun. So have a good pair of leggings for the gym for, well, I don't know if the gym's gonna be open. I personally just think leggings, a cute sweatshirt, some little hoops and some sneakers, you're good to go. Athleisure always does you good. The next thing I guess is optional, but for me, I've been absolutely loving biker shorts lately. I think they're really cute when you wear them with like a big baggy hoodie or sweatshirt and like some sneakers and accessorize with some gold jewelry. I find that they're comfy and they look really cute. So that's just my suggestion as far as casual clothes goes. And Target has really, really cute biker shorts right now and they're pretty cheap. So I just got them and would suggest. The next thing that you're gonna wanna bring is a sweatshirt or two. Don't bring all of your sweatshirts because I definitely made this mistake. For whatever reason, I have so many sweatshirts because I transferred school so I had sweatshirts from my previous college and then I have sweatshirts from when I went on vacation and then sweatshirts from Temple and just like so many sweatshirts. If you can, just bring a few. Don't bring all of them. Just limit yourself in what you bring. Try not to bring it all. But I definitely would suggest bringing more of the comfy clothes than the dressy clothes, especially if you're taking all online classes. You're gonna wanna be comfortable because you're gonna be just like hanging out in your dorm or your apartment. My next suggestion is probably one of my favorite things that I wear when I'm at school and that is a baseball cap. So for me personally, if I don't feel like doing my hair and I just want to feel comfy and cozy, I like to put my hair up in a low bun and just 
throw on a baseball cap. You look cute and comfy and cozy and like athleisure vibes and baseball caps are super cute. The next section of clothes I want to get into is businessy clothes. So for me personally, I'm a marketing major at the Fox School of Business at the Temple, so I do need business clothes. This may not pertain to you, it may. So the first thing I would suggest bring with you is a blazer. I Obviously the school year is different than most, so I don't really know if like career fairs are going on and it definitely depends on like what state you're in. So a blazer, a nice button down shirt, just you know, dressy clothes for club meetings, things of that sort. And then I would also suggest bring like dress pants and like good pair of flats. The next section I want to get into is shoes. So this is something that I think a lot of people tend to overpack. When it comes to the reality of it, dorms, you really don't have a ton of storage. I guess it depends on your dorm, but generally speaking, you're not going to have a ton of storage. So you really just want to bring the shoes that you actually wear. So the first thing I would suggest bring as far as shoes goes is a good pair of everyday sneakers. Sneakers that you would just wear to class, say with like a sweatpants or leggings, just like a good comfy cute pair of sneakers. I personally have a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost, I believe they are, and they're like a pink mauvey color and I love those shoes so much. I wear them all the time with leggings or sweatpants and I just think they're really cute and casual. Next suggestion I would say is to have a pair of sneakers that you wear to the gym. I don't know if this is just a me thing, but I like having a pair of like sneakers that I wear for everyday use, just like for walking around or going to class. And then also a pair of sneakers for going to the gym because they will get sweaty and gross. So I don't want my everyday sneakers to smell. I know we don't know if gyms are gonna be open. It also depends where you are, but if you're doing like at home workouts, have a good pair of sneakers for working out. My next suggestion is to have a good boot, whether that's like a Chelsea boot or you know, a little booty, a heeled booty or a Doc Martin, just something that will keep your foot warm in the winter time or even like a pair of duck boots for like the snow. Just bring a pair of good boots that'll keep your feet warm when it gets cold. I also would suggest getting a pair of Doc Martens. I know that's not everybody's style, but for me, like I absolutely love my Docs and I live in them and I think they're really great especially if you go to school where it's colder out. The next pair of shoes I would bring is a pair of sandals for when it's warmer out. And then also if you're living in the dorms and using communal bathrooms, I would definitely suggest getting a pair of shower shoes. So maybe just like a cheap pair of flip flops that you wear into the shower. The last thing I would bring as far as shoes goes is a pair of heels, whether you're going to like a formal or a date night or anything. I obviously don't know if that's happening this year, but say this were a normal school year, that's what I would bring. The next section, I want to preface this by saying this is what I would bring if this was a normal school year and I'm very much aware that it's not. Next section I want to get into is like going out clothes but also don't do that and please be safe. Remind yourself that your actions not only affect you but they affect the health of the people around you so just be mindful of that. Be safe and smart. So this is maybe clothes that you should bring with you next semester or for next year, not necessarily right now. Um, so booties, a good pair of like little boots that maybe you can get them from like Boohoo or Forever 21, just like shoes that you don't really care about getting messed up, like not super high end shoes because you know, if you're at a bar or at a frat, they might get like stepped on and gross and you don't wanna get your nice pair of shoes all messed up. The next thing I would bring is a fracket, people like to call. Um, a jacket that you'd wear to frats or a bar or whatever that you don't really care if it goes missing or if you were to lose it, just like, you know, just like a jacket you're not really in love with. Next thing as far as going out clothes, I would just say like basic, like black um, wrap tops or tank tops or tube tops. And then I also would suggest bring like black high-waisted jeans and then some cute belts. So don't go out right now because there's a global pandemic and we don't want to hurt the people around us that we love. And then as far as things that you don't want to bring, don't bring too many jackets. I know for me, when I went to school, I was like, why don't I just bring my entire wardrobe? I mean, I did have like a decent sized closet, but not big enough that I should bring all of my clothes. So just don't bring all of your jackets. Another thing that you're not gonna wanna bring way too much of is t-shirts, especially if you're joining Greek life or you just go to like a lot of events at school, you're gonna get free t-shirts and you're not gonna need a ton. So just don't bring a ton of shirts. And then also I touched on this earlier, don't bring too many pairs of shoes. Trust me, you'll just end up wearing the ones that you reach for most. So bring your essentials that you wear all the time and don't bring anything besides that. And then my final piece of advice as far as the clothes that you should bring for college is basically just stick to the basics. Bring the things that you gravitate towards the most, the things that you wear the most, bring those things 
If there's something sitting in your closet that you haven't worn in over six months, don't bring it with you to school because you probably won't wear it. You know, donate those clothes to Goodwill or get some money from Play-Doh's closet. Just like get rid of the stuff that you don't need and bring only like your capsule wardrobe, your closet essentials with you to school. So there you have it guys. Those are all the things that you should pack with you as far as clothing goes for college. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what is one clothing item that you could not live without. I think for me, it's my free people jean jacket but let me know in the comments down below and if you guys are new here definitely make sure to subscribe down below we would absolutely love to have you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye